Maximilian Kolbe was born Raymond Kolbe on January 8, 1894 in Uzdunska Vola, a Polish town within the Russian Empire at the time. He was very active in promoting the Immaculate Virgin Mary and is known as the Apostle of Consecration to Mary. Much of his life was strongly influenced by a vision that he had when he was 12. He was asking the Mother of God what was to become of him when a vision came to him. Later he recounted this event with the following passage. Mary appeared holding in her hands two crowns, one white, one red. She asked if I would like to have them. One was for purity, the other for martyrdom. I said, I choose both. She smiled and disappeared. One year after his vision, Kobe and his elder brother Francis joined the conventual Franciscans in 1910. Kobe was given the religious name Maximilian after being allowed to enter the novitiate, and in 1911 he professed his first vows. At the age of 21, Kobe earned a doctorate in philosophy from the Pontifical Gregorian University. He would also earn a doctorate in theology by the time he was 28. In 1918, he was ordained a priest and continued his work of promoting Mary throughout Poland. In 1930, he went on mission to East Asia, and a year later, he built a Franciscan monastery on the outskirts of Nagasaki, Japan. Interestingly, Kolbe had the monastery built on a mountainside and was criticized by Japanese religious leaders because according to Shinto beliefs, this was not the best side suited to be in harmony with nature. Years later, however, when the United States dropped the atomic bomb on Nagasaki, the Franciscan monastery was one of the only buildings in the area to survive, as it was on the wrong side of the mountain. So it became a vital refuge for Japanese people in the area. In 1936, Kobe's poor health forced him to return home to Poland. And once the World War II invasion by Germany began, he became one of the only brothers to remain in the monastery. He opened up a temporary hospital to aid those in need. And when his town was captured, Kobe was sent to prison, but released three months later. Kobe refused to sign a document that would recognize him as a German citizen with his German ancestry and continued to work in his monastery providing shelter for refugees, including hiding 2,000 Jews from German persecution. After receiving permission to continue his religious publishing, Kobe's monastery acted as a publishing house again and issued many anti-Nazi German publications. In February 1941, the monastery was shut down. Kobe was arrested by the German Gestapo and taken to Paviak prison. Three months later, he was transferred to Auschwitz. Never abandoning his priesthood, Kolbe was the victim to severe violence and harassment. Towards the end of his second month in Auschwitz, men were chosen to face death by starvation to warn against escapees. Kolbe was not chosen, but volunteered to take the place of a man with a family. It is said during the last days of his life, Colby led prayers to Our Lady with the prisoners and remained calm. He was the last of the group to remain alive. After two weeks of dehydration and starvation, the guards gave him a lethal injection. The story tells that he raised his left arm and calmly awaited death. St. Maximilian Colby died on August 14, and his remains were cremated on August 15, the same day as the Feast of the Assumption of Mary. The cell where he died is now a shrine. Recognised as a servant of God, Colby was beatified as the confessor of the faith on October 17, 1971 by Pope Paul VI and canonised by Pope John Paul II on October 10, 1982. He was also declared not a confessor, but a martyr. At the canonization. Pope John Paul met the man whose life was saved at Auschwitz by Kolbe's sacrifice. St. Maximilian Kolbe is the patron saint of families, prisoners, the pro-life movement, and due to the lethal injection causing his death, 
he is also the patron of those who struggle with drug addiction. Say Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us.